basically I started started it because it was trending on TikTok. Um, and full disclosure, I did honestly start it just because it looked like it was a little bit dramatic and full of gossip. Are we dating the same guy? Is the name of this Facebook group where members post pictures of the men they've matched with on dating apps to see if there are any red flags to look out for. Share information to allow the members, if they're going to pursue something romantically, they can make an informed decision. The Facebook group was created earlier in the year but gained traction in recent months. Currently, the group has more than 11,000 members. We noticed really quickly that we needed to run it in such a way that it wasn't just, you know, um, a man bashing site. It's, it was more than that. Jade says it's all about creating a community of supportive women and promoting safety. Friendships have been started. We even have um, posts where guys have been posted and all of the comments have been nothing but positive. And then we get another post a couple days later saying that the girl who posted went on a date with a guy and he was great and they're going on a second date. So it's not really all that bad for the guys. Other similar pages of Are We Dating the Same Guy also exist in several other cities and provinces. And another site has popped up from another perspective. Are We Dating the Same Girl, Manitoba? But what if someone objects to being included on one of these pages? Lawyer Bob Sokolsky says having a public picture posted from a dating app to a Facebook group is not necessarily an issue. What was put on the dating site, whether it's Tyndall or Bumble or whatever they are, there's new names every day. If, if the origination of that photograph was put out there to attract dates, which I understand that's the concept, then one cannot later claw back and say, oh no, I want that back. The problem lies in the comment section. And if there are allegations made with a photograph suggesting, accusing, asserting, implying by innuendo uh, that that person has done something that's going to damage their own reputation, then if that can't be proven to be true by the person who's posted those allegations, then they could face exposure for damages for defamation. Jade says she's taken measures to ensure that members don't post anything that could possibly defame an individual, such as enforcing stricter guidelines and bringing in more moderators. But with over 11,000 members and growing, even she admits it can be hard to keep up. You know, if you're against the group, I guess I get it. But I think that if you have a good head on your shoulders, you'll really understand what we're doing here and, and know that we're not in it for the wrong reasons. In Winnipeg, Sweet Arassi, City News.